Hoopers at Rob Moffat. Good morning. Guys, uh, last week I posted a little video on a, a little uh, infrared thermometer, really inexpensive one, and I thought I'd, this video I would come up with uh, all the uses I could come up with. I could think of, uh, last week I showed how accurate it was. It was pretty accurate. I enjoyed it and recommend it. Um, this week, let's go over all the different uses I've seen other people use and some of the, them I have used myself. Um, first of all, if you have a, a hot tub outside, there are some days you may not feel like going outside to check temperature. With infrared top thermometer, you can be inside your house and uh, you can check the temperature. <laughs> you won't have to go outside. There may be reasons you prefer not to. Uh, <laughs> If you have appliances, <clears throat> a surprising amount of appliances have a, a heat or cold function. You can use your thermometer with your appliances. Um, if you have children or, or babies or elderly, you, you uh, want to make sure the water temperature is not too high. You, uh, I recommend people use your hand, even if they have a thermometer. But you can use your infrared thermometer to uh, double check the heat. Um, if you have babies, I still think you should do be old-fashioned and just <laughs> use yourself to see if it's too hot. I wouldn't try. If I have a baby, I'm not going to trust the thermometer, but uh, some people do. Um, same thing with the baby formula and the milk. In fact, they come with the thermometers now on the baby bottles, but you can use infrared thermometer for that function. But I would still, once again, check it myself. I wouldn't just trust, trust the thermometer. Um, for cooking, <clears throat> you can use... Uh, these thermometers uh, very well to check the, the surface temperature of anything that's not shiny or reflective. In this case, uh, cooking grill and pans and stuff, it's, it's a very good way to check the temperature for cooking. Uh, you can also use these to check body temperature. You could put it under your armpit or put it in your ear and you should be able to get a very close reading to accurate temperature. Uh, if you have wine cooler, you can check your thermometer, uh, your, your temperature. If you do brewing, um, if you do canning, no way. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, when you can, if you have botulism, that's the most deadly substance on the planet. I'm not messing around with digital thermometers for canning. I'm going to just use what we all used. Um, but some people might. But I wouldn't do it, though. Um, perfect for cars. There's so many things you can use them with cars. You can use them with your air conditioning to find out uh, where you have problems with your brakes to see if there's there any difference between the front and the back or different side. Um, your coils, uh, your, if you got misfiring on your cylinders, you can uh, check your spark plugs and see if you have problems with your cylinders. Your air conditioner, you can see if you have hot spots. Um, your your uh, radiator, um, your hoses should be different temperature, your input and your output. If you don't have a big difference in, in temperature, you, you have a problem with your uh, with your radiator. Uh, you can check your spark plugs, um, your uh, thermostat, your transmission if it's overheating, your water pump, your fuses. Your <coughs> Sometimes your fuses will get real hot before they before they blow. You could check them out this way with your thermometer really quick. Um, for meat, no, you need a you need an internal thermometer. Don't use your, your your infrared thermometer on meat. I don't care what anybody tells you. You need to get the internal temperature. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Um, now for pans, no, it's perfect. If it's not a reflective surface, it should give you the pan temperature very very well. I think it's perfect for that. Um, for hot spots in your in your smokers, it's also very good. I got a tip from one of my viewers. Oh, uh, Salty Shellback. He told me about. He was, I think, in the Navy, and they would use uh, black electrical tape on stuff because it uh, would give a good reading. And uh, you, sometimes if you have something that's shiny or reflective, you can put a piece of black tape on stuff that will give you uh, a good reading with your infrared thermometer. That was a good tip. Thanks, Salty. And electrical connections. You know, there so often you have a bad electrical connection, you can see w right away with your, th your thermometer. Um, when you go fishing, fish like different temperatures. This will only give you the surface temperature, not down low, but, but it, it still gives you some information you might not have had if you don't have the other type of thermometer. These are probably the best thermometers to, if you want, you know, subsurface temperature. But for the top surface, it's fine to use infrared thermometer. And also, it's fine to use with your fish tanks because your glass is going to give you pretty good information of what the water is. Um, now, is this, 
is this a plant or not? <laughs> if you had an infrared thermometer, you could tell. This could be somebody in a ghillie suit. It probably is somebody in a ghillie suit. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> his, his AR-15 probably doesn't have a reading, though. Now, your appliances in your house, they all have electrical motors. You can check them with uh, your, your thermometer. <clears throat> Excuse me. The best thing in the world the infrared thermometer does is for heating and cooling loss in your house. If you go up in your attic, you can find right away where you have losses coming in or out. If you do insulation, you can find out if it's working or not or where you still have to do some more. Um, you might have thought you did a really good job and you still have to do some more. Um, I remember one time when I was a kid, uh, my stepfather called the air conditioning guy to come to the house because it was summertime and he had an air conditioner and it wasn't heating. It wasn't cooling the house. Well, he was trying to cool the whole house with a little uh, window air conditioner. And the, the air, air conditioner guy just popped a thermometer in the, in the outlet and he could tell how cold air was coming out of the, uh, the air conditioner. And he said, well, that's the maximum this air conditioner would do. So, you know, it's not the air conditioner's fault. You just got a big house. So if you have a thermometer, you can check what is the real output of your, thermo your, uh, your AC. Um, it, it's probably the best thing to use for the uh, thermometer is your, your heating loss and your cooling loss. You can find leaks. Like I say, go up in your attic, right around the edges of your insulation where they meet the edge of the, uh, uh, the perimeter of the house. You can see where you probably have a lot of heat or cooling loss. And uh, also your cooling loss around your doors and windows. It's really handy. And uh, you, you're going to save a lot of money with your thermometer if you can just stop some of this loss. You can also check the ballast in your electrical lighting. And uh, your outdoor thermometer, if you don't have one, you could just check, check your windows. Your windows are going to not be the same exact temperature, but they're going to be pretty close to being what it is outside in the shade. If you go hunting, is there a rabbit down at hole? Well, if you have the thermometer, you could see if you have a heat reading in the hole see what's down there. If you have laptops or computers, different computers, you get a lot of heat, things overheating. You can find where the, the uh, components are, are getting ready to go bad on you. Um, so I've seen some people mess around with laser tag making their own. I think you could probably do something with your infrared thermometer using the laser. Maybe you could do laser tag. Also, they're good for target practice. If you have a target machine that, that uh, hits off of a laser, you could do something uh, with your your infrared uh, thermometer, um, but if you didn't want to make spend the money, you could just get plain old targets and practice shooting, um, drawing from a holster or drawing from a, a, a stance, and just getting the memory feel of of, of shooting. Um, it's it's a good tool, and for your cats or dogs, you could check the temperature by uh, their ears. Check the temperature to pool. Um, and for cooking, like I said, it won't cook or check the inside meat temperatures, but for uh, external, outside, like for sauces and soups, and I love it for yogurt because you have to get at 180 degrees and then cool it down to, to 100. So it's it works extremely well for checking on yogurt, but it's also good for sauces and candy and different things like that. Um, and if you, you have a, a small meat or candy thermometer at home, you can double check and see if you're getting the same temperature with your with your thermometer. I have found my digital thermometer when I take it outside and put it in the sun. If I bring it back inside where it's air conditioning, I don't get accurate temperatures for a while until it gets to the same temperature of the room. So really harsh, bright light and uh, or harsh temperatures can heat up your, your infrared thermometer and give you some faulty readings. So I've gotten perfect readings inside, but outside I have got some that were kind of fluky. So that's something to, to pay attention to. Um, and the final, last, and probably the most important thing you can use your digital thermometer with is your cat. <laughs> uh, it's never-ending fun. Um, so, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I put on new videos every week. Got over 550. Been doing this for about 10 years. Got a lot of people I feature on my channel that I really like a lot. You might want to check out. And uh, oh, don't forget, there's a lot of people still hurting from these hurricanes in Texas and Florida and in the, the Caribbean. Uh, my sister, she, she lives in Florida. She lost her house. It's flooded. They don't have insurance. It's like terrible. The river rose 17 and a half feet. Um, so there's, if you can do anything for the people still hurting, and uh, just, just let them know you're thinking about them. That would help. 
Um, all right, guys, take care. See you out there, and uh, come back next week. I put on new stuff all the time. Also, I'll put a link below the video in the video description to the thermometer if you want to purchase one in my Amazon store. Anytime people buy stuff from Amazon store, they give me a few pennies. Also, also, if you save that store link and go to Amazon in the future, if you buy anything through it, they gave me a few pennies. It's sort of like a, a, a Patreon. It doesn't cost you anything. If you're going to buy something off Amazon, you could use the link, and uh, it gives me a few few pennies. All right, guys, that's it for the commercial. Um, I'm grab yabbing here. So <laughs> if you come up with some ideas for your infrared thermometer, put it down below. I'd be, I'd be really interested to hear. All right, guys, take care. See you out there.